This could get disgusting very soon if Joe can move in quickly. Mommy pushes in to take out everyone. That just happened. This is to tie the game. And welcome. It's another round here of Zero Cup ELO matches. We have a 5v5 on Hotel Trouble. Team Yellow Scrub will have Plain Eagle, Zachman, Hackett, Yellow Scrub, TGF, and Joe. Team Zikot will have Rogue Shaz, Bone Daddy, Wheeze, Zikot, and Hi Dad. And this is going to be Hotel Trouble. This is going to be a very big map with a lot of advantageous peaks uh, for the defense and for the offense. This is a technically a four-story map, but um, looks like the defense is going to start on the third floor. Actually, I believe this is the second floor. This this is the fourth. This is fourth. This is the fourth floor. Yes. Okay. And it looks like they also put a, a sticky cam on the, above that housekeeping. Uh, Door, right? We're right in between the housekeeping doors. So they want to take a look at that long haul because that long haul camera that you start with only has a view down the hall you're in from the entrance, uh, the entrance to it. Right. So they're not going to be able to see people who are peeking and coming through that door, which, uh, ooh, wow. Oh, see, it takes them both out hanging off the balcony. If he stays right there, he can get two more. Oh, TGF quickly takes out Zcot. Yeah, Izikot revealed himself, and that allowed TGF to set and wait. And peeking out of there kind of cost him, but heck, you know, I will gladly exchange two for one any day. Definitely. Bone Daddy expecting somebody on that stairwell, but he can't see him just yet, and he's a little bit to the left. Just got a little... Joe creeping. He almost got that headshot. He's going to push in. He frags it, though. He might get two. Oh, Throw man. a good nade, but it does not hit anybody. Yeah, hi, Dad, behind the couch there. Plain Eagle with a shotgun, which is going to be pretty uh, pretty difficult to use. Oh, Plain Eagle's grenade almost gets somebody, but Bone Daddy takes out somebody with a MAC-10. It was TGF. That looks like... Oh... Joe's Plain Eagle took a, took a lot of time to try to get that shotgun angle, and he did not get it. Got a grenade instead, and that's going to be one to Team Zcot very quickly on Hotel. Uh, team Yellow Scrub down to zero. Yeah, I, on that fourth floor, when you have someone in the staircase, I think it's more effective to have somebody waiting on the other staircase ready to go. And with Joe pushing out early and no one watching the back, I mean, they could have come in and helped out. You know, you, you saw you know, uh, Team Zcot taking cover behind the couch and by the vending machine. Um, there was a little synchronous attack there could have definitely benefited them. Right. There's, there's really no good angle for the defense to hold those staircases without being pushed by the other staircase. So if you're going to go up one staircase, you might as well go up two. And every member, of, almost every member of ZCOT getting a kill in that round in wiping out it's Team Yellow Scrub. And it looks like Rogue Shaz actually has a shotgun that he picked up from the offense, which is probably going to be pretty advantageous to him because having a shotgun on defense is very good. And Weiss has an MP5. Yeah, they picked up the attacking team's weapons. Unfortunately for the shotgun use, it's on the second floor where that's open floor plan. So I don't think that might actually be a little bit. He's, he might want to play the hole. You know, that, that's probably the better play on the second floor. You know, Shaz is going to play the hole. He's watching that balcony. That's the hall to the kitchen. It looks like the offense has more of the defense's guns, and the defense has more of the offense's guns. Yeah. Right. Ooh, the shotgun's gonna play right away. Yeah. 
almost two right off the bat. Uh, frag is not gonna do any damage when nobody's there. Oh! I don't know how that shot didn't come off, but that one did. I don't either. Okay, but he, that was a very bold move by whoever was on the balcony. Um, that shotgun is very powerful at a close distance. And that's going to put Team Yellow Scrub with two attackers, two Team Z cuts, five defenders. Oh! Hi, Dad. Throwing the C4, and Joe is throwing a frag. The C4 goes off first. And Yellow Scrub gets pushed by Z-Cot through the stairs from above while Yellow Scrub is looking down. Another quick win by Team Z-Cot. Yeah, they're going to take round two on elimination just like they did the first round. And uh, it looks like Yellow Scrub didn't manage to take anybody out that round. No, it's looking like on Team Yellow Scrub, TGF and Joe have the only kills, while on Team Z-Cot everybody is contributing to the kill count uh, I, I it's i don't think that was a matter of like losing gunfights i think they were just lost for the most part it was very scattered and uh you didn't that's that's kind of where that started to fall apart from the beginning just the just from the entry point right coming up those balconies i mean if somebody has to drop on you that's a very hard uh very hard position to take those balconies can leave you very exposed Team Zcot's gonna stay on the fourth floor, choosing room 304, uh, rather room 302 as the spawn point. Room 304 is where Weez was just at a second ago, looking at the balcony. And Plain Eagle just does a little target practice on the tires there. He's just making sure his guns work. Looks like we're gonna have two on that second floor. <laughs> I'd have taking out himself out with the C4. And there's the body. And it looks... TGF with a pre-fire with that Max 10. He almost got Rogue Shaz, but Shaz had that shotgun up a lot quicker. Yeah, I don't think that that was the place to pre-fire. You're, 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 you're already a disadvantage coming up that balcony. You want to try to peek and then fire. Joe might want to try to throw a nade in there. That's just going to be too risky to try to peek. Yeah. Zeke's got that balcony unlocked. Yeah, he, he picked off Yellow Scrub um, shooting through that window. And uh, Weeze is going to get really aggressive. <laughs> Joe gets taken out. Zeke is taken out. And Bone Daddy's taken out. Both last two to get taken out by Plain Eagle. It's 1-1 one, one so fast. <laughs> back to back. And that's just going to leave one on Team Yellow Scrub, one on Team Zeke. And we'll see who can uh, become the victor here. Rogue Shaz is going to have to make his way up one more floor. And Plain Eagle's got uh, the main area locked down, it looks. Yeah, I mean, Plain Eagle's the only one on the fourth floor right now. He could just push and lock it down right now. But uh, Rogue Shaz being down there with only only 25 health, I mean, who's the attacker and who's the defender here? I know. All enemies have been neutralized. Rogue Shaz trying to come up with the Deagle. That was a very bold move. Plain Eagle gets him real quick. Well, that was probably going to go Team Yellow Scrub's way anyway um, with that little with that push. But it was it was it, the fact that they played so conservatively was probably going to cost them that match if if, if they he didn't win that gunfight. Um, so that was a lot closer than it might appear. The teams will swap sides. Zcot on attack. Yellow Scrub on defense. Yeah, uh, Roach has and Zcot. You see that uh, they basically are imitating each other on the scoreboard. And we'll see how Team Yellow Scrub decides to defend here. It looks like they're going to take the, I believe this is the third, the second floor. This is. This is the third uh, floor. Third floor. Third floor. Yep. Uh, It's like Weez and Zcot chose the main entrance, as did Bone Daddy. Zcot looks like he's going to take that second floor, and now Rogue, uh, Bone Daddy's going to take the balcony, going up very quickly. Zeke taking that long hallway with the scar, not a bad choice, and he might get somebody here. Ooh, Ooh. a pre-fire. This is the fourth floor, by the way. Both of us were on. Fourth floor, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Joe gets taken up by high dad. Uh, looks like all of Team Zcot is now in the building and on the room. Weez gets a very quick scar kill on Plain Eagle. Weez is flash. Just dropping him quickly. TGF takes out high dad there. Don't know how that grenade didn't kill anybody. It was very close to both of those defenders. Yeah, it looks like Yellow Scrub is flashed as well, but he he will back away. Yellow Scrub's gonna be yeah. pushed very quickly, and Seacock gets him with a nice little drop shot. Yeah, that was a lot of trouble coming down that hall. They just kind of got pushed back into the corner as the defense was falling apart. Team Zcot was moving as an element there to the. They basically you had Zcot pushing up down the long hall at the same time that Room 304 was being inf infiltrated from the balcony. Uh, that was a, a very nice push. Yeah, you don't often see in these uh, competitive games where they actually move tactically. You you kind of see a lot of people spread out, so that seemed to work very well for them. And that uh, it's going to put Zcot with seven kills. Gunplay is a factor, but in a game like Zero Hour, tactics is also a factor. Probably the bigger one. It looks like the tactic they're going to take again is going to be that third floor. They're going to try to defend it again. Um, seems like a very popular floor, floor for this map. It's hard to get to. It takes a while for the attack to get up there, and it leaves the defense with a little bit more time to plan. And TGF is watching that climb up there, and it looks like Weez is one of the people coming up there, and Zcot's the other. TGF will have to take them both out. And he takes out Zcop first. Very big kill right there. He's going to creep and try to get Weez. Weez will, will win that one. All right, so that's, you know, your one for my one. Let's go. And that Zcop is a very big one. Bone Daddy getting a nice grenade kill on High Dad. Looks like Plain Eagle is just holding an angle. Rogue Shaz creeping up the staircase and Bone Daddy creeping in the balcony on the fourth floor. Yeah, Bone Daddy is now in room 304, which is halfway up from where Weez is at right now. But it looks like Yellow Scrub knows exactly where Rogue Shaz is. Plain Eagle. Weez with a very nice headshot. Yeah, and Plain Eagle took out Rogue Shaz with that frag. The defense is down to Weez and Bone Daddy. It's now two versus one. The offense having a man down, so they're going to have to take it very slow here if they want to win. The Yellow Scrub is regrouping. They're basically one end of the hall down the other. Oh, Plain Eagle took out Bone Daddy. He's just going to hold that long angle, hope somebody will peek out, uh, get a little bit confident, and he doesn't get it there, but he's probably going to still hold that angle just to see if he can pick somebody off. I mean, Weez is using the scar. This kind of hall is designed for that scar. Right. He, he probably wants to get as many people taken care of at range rather than up close. And the defense is not going to let him get that opportunity, it seems. Yeah, they, they're not trying to peek out. I mean, they have three bodies between Weez and the objective. That's the nice thing about being in housekeeping all the way back there at the end. Ooh. Right. Why push him when he can come to you and when he has to come to you? Uh, they're down and they need to be as cautious as possible. Ooh. And that was a dirty shot by Weez. Yeah, Plain Eagle was the one tempting Weez a second ago. I mean, they basically have to wait there. It's not like there's a reason for them to peek and see if they're pushing and wheeze with the frag kill on Yellow Scrub. Oh! That's okay. it! Okay! Defenders that are out! That is huge. He's got a minute to defuse and he's going to get it. I mean, uh, wheeze with a very confident push there, a very good grenade, and very accurate shooting, and that's going to win him that round. Yeah, there was approximately about just two minutes left when it was just Weez by himself. And he managed to take out three people in less than 60 seconds. And all while being patient, mind you. Like, that was more efficient than Rush. 
And, I mean, even with the defense spread out, they were spread out very well. I mean, I guess there were a few peaks that they shouldn't have uh, attempted that got them killed, but a good grenade, good shots. Um, you know, that was just very good play on Weez's part. And you have Weez and Zcot with eight and seven kills for Team Zcot. Match point. Match point. We'll see if Yellow Scrub can uh, def defend this a little bit better. Um, maybe they'll try a little bit t uh, different tactics. They're on second floor conference room right now. And that is a pretty hard uh, position to attack. Yeah, that's right. And, and it's going to be their last defense as well uh, before they have to switch sides again if they can hold it off. Right. And I said that it was a hard position to attack, but it's also an equally hard position to defend. Yeah, basically that floor plan, you have half of that floor is open floor plan and the other half is just tight halls. So it, it's as long as they can stay alive and cover both the closed floor plan and the open floor plan, you know, we, they should be able to hold off Team Zcot. And it looks like the offense is going to try to bring uh, come up the point that is not as open. They're going to come up with that uh, bulletproof glass. And they don't want to overexpose themselves. They are in the lead, but they don't want to give it up. Mm. Rogue says. Picking them off, and they have a Zcot takes out Joe. Plain Eagle throws That's... a flare out there. That's a interesting one. I think that's the first flare we've seen of the night. And Weez with that scar, he is very accurate. Uh, it's it's 3v2, uh, 3 on offense, 2 on defense. It's relatively even matched. Um, uh, we'll just see what happens here. Yellow Scrub, can, if he keeps looking that way, can see the shadow from the flare. Oh, but Yellow Scrub gets taken out by Bone Daddy, and then that goes Zach Man Hackett down as well. Team Zcot's gonna get the victory here in this one. And Wee's taking MVP, and that is the first time we've seen uh, Zcot not on the MVP tonight, but Wee's with 10 kills and 1,300 damage. Uh, really putting in work this round. And I mean, with the way he handled that long haul, approaching there i mean wouldn't you want to give it to him too this seems like the uh the game appropriately knowing who who the mvp was in this round I mean, absolutely really. i'd say that was the the play of the night yeah that was definitely a nice match between team yellow scrub and team zcot team zcot final score getting five against team yellow scrubs one zero cup fans remember you can watch the zero cup tournament starting april 2nd at 7 p.m eastern or better yet, be in it yourself. Visit the link in the description below for the Discord, and you can get all the details on the tournament, where to watch, how to register, it's all there. And if you wanna keep watching these matches, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll get the notification every single time a new ELO match is updated, and of course, the tournament. But in the meantime, that is us for now. We'll catch you in the next match.